and um, I improved this last time I took it, but I'm still not. Um, I'm not as I'm not at a score range that I really feel would be uh, in a position to make me competitive to several of the schools that I'd like to apply to. So what I'm looking for really is a different direction on where to take my study. And I'm certainly uh, uh, looking to take a different direction than the oh, program that I took, which is a nationally based program that you may have mentioned a time or two on, on your broadcast. And I'm looking to take a different direction, really get some more uh, resources under my belt. Um, in researching uh, your program, I really like the option of uh, working in workshops and uh, working with others to try to improve. And I think uh, that sort of direction was lacking in the last program. So it's really something I'm looking forward to, but really I'm looking at where do I, where, where and how can I improve versus my last score and, and what's really, uh, what are those resources that I can tap into to get into the 160s? which is really my goal. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad to have you on board. I'm, I'm happy to help. And yes, one of the best things about the LSAT Unplugged course is the workshops. We have live sessions five nights a week, including study groups, including workshops, going through problems and reviewing them in depth using the Socratic review method. And so you can get feedback and get a little bit behind the scenes thinking from a variety of people who are going through the process right alongside you. And you can discuss those problems together. So I definitely encourage you to take advantage. It's a supportive, collaborative environment and community. So you don't have to feel like you're going through it alone. And you're also just not being lectured to the entire time either. There's a lot of interaction, a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of fun. That's certainly what I'm looking forward to because the uh, the other program that I that I took uh, uh, last year, it was really, uh, uh, it was web-based. There wasn't uh, that collaborative uh, option that you just mentioned. And I think... Uh, having the opportunity to ask and answer questions in a real time format will certainly improve uh, my performance on the test. Fantastic. Great. Well, I would definitely encourage you to attend currently five nights a week. We'll probably add on more in the future. The classes are typically starting at 8 PM and 9 PM Eastern time, but again, we'll add on more in the future. So just attend whatever you can make. If you ever can't make one, that's fine. All the classes are recorded. They're uploaded to the course platform. So you can watch them later too. That's fantastic. Are there any particular areas that you or that you're struggling with or challenges that you're facing that I could support you on right now? Well, um, I, I think really the two the the two largest areas that I am working on and need improvement on are certainly uh, logic games, and really the biggest one I would say is is reading comprehension. So in so I think my biggest um, my biggest need for reading comprehension really is the combination of uh, improved accuracy and speed. So when I was practicing and taking a test, uh, practice tests, and and on this most recent LSAT test, um, it was not uncommon for me to be on the third logic or third reading comprehension passage. And and find myself really behind on the clock, and really seeing that that time pressure, in, you know, impact my performance. And I'd really like to uh, see what what I can do to learn different techniques to improve on that area. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I'll say a couple of quick things now, and then encourage you to go to the reading comp deep dive classes for more. We'll, we'll spend an entire hour on one passage in depth, but. There's some quick thoughts for now. I mean, if you're having struggles with time constraint, I guess the question is, where are you allocating time? Where could you shave off some time? So I'm, I'm curious to know, what do you do in terms of any note taking on the passage? Or what's your general process like when you first encounter a passage? Sure. So my, uh, my first, uh, or my process when I encounter a passage is I'm reading through, uh, taking it paragraph by paragraph, and I'm jotting down some brief notes and and then and then I of course I'm going towards I'm going to the questions and trying to address the questions and as quickly and accurately as possible but I suspect um, I'm burning up some time on 
uh, probably taking too many notes, probably getting too buried into the details. So really, I need to I need to find a technique that allows me to uh, be able to, you know, handle the information in the passage without getting um, mired down into the details, but still be able to have a really good functional understanding of the passage, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So the question is, are the notes that you're taking serving you? in terms of actually getting through the questions themselves, are they helping you focus on the right things? And how long actually are you spending during the note-taking process? So, yeah, normally um, when I'm timing myself on, on the reading comprehension uh, passage, usually by the time I'm done reading the passage and taking notes, it's usually at least four minutes into the passage which if, if we allocate eight and a half minutes per passage on average, that doesn't leave me with a whole lot of time for those other questions. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. I mean, you have an average of 845, eight minutes, 45 seconds on average for each of the four passages or passage sets plus their associated questions. So you certainly can't spend eight minutes simply reading the passage and taking notes if you want to cover all four. Really, you might want to spend max three minutes on the initial read of the passage and, and any note taking, maybe four on a really tough passage, but then you've also got to make that up on one of the easier passages if you want to cover all four. Right, right. And I suspect with uh, different techniques and practicing those techniques, uh, that'll improve. Um, it's certainly very challenging. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. It takes time to figure this out. What's your target test date? So I'd like to test in June. Okay, good. So you got three months. Yeah, and I've taken, um, I've downloaded your three-month study plan, and I've knocked out a, a great deal of logic games uh, this weekend. I guess the, the silver lining of taking the test twice already is that I have some familiarity with a lot of the you know, different sections of, of the test. I'm just thinking on this third go around, which hopefully is my final go around, you know, do I take a fresh approach towards everything or do I uh, try to boost up uh, areas that I'm weak and try to, you know, try not to take a scorched earth approach towards my study and my practice, if you will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you have all the benefit of what you've done prior. That's all there, all the proficiency, all the knowledge, all the familiarity, that's all going to serve you going forward. At this point, it's not really about just getting more information about the sections or question types in the abstract. It's about really applying them under timed conditions and seeing what ends up actually working for you in terms of pacing. Indeed, and I think, um, I think practice and uh, workshops, I think that will certainly go a long ways towards boosting that uh, that performance. And I know um, in doing some research on the test, it said, you know, people should take at least 20 uh, practice exams before they test again or before they take a test is, um, I know that can be higher or lower for some, for some people. So I, I, the good news is I have access to all of the tests that I've, you know, I've downloaded PDFs and I have plenty of resources. So I think it's just a practice application of existing techniques, learn new techniques and really just keep, keep working at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's about finding techniques that will actually work for you under time conditions at this point. Regarding the number of practice tests to do, yeah, I mean, 20 is fantastic if you have the time. Even 10 would be great to help you work on the pacing and endurance. I mean, my course will help you a lot with the strategies under time conditions as well as the review process after the fact. And I'll give you some different ideas regarding how you might drill reading comprehension, for example, since we were speaking about that. And you can also play with different levels of note taking. I mean, recommend generally, I'd say just try keeping it more minimal. If you're spending eight minutes on the read and the note taking, that's obviously not going to work under timed conditions. What do you actually, what could you do with no notes? What could you do with only a couple of words? 
know, try them out. Experimentation, I think, is really going to be the key for you. And you have space to play with that over the next few months. Fantastic. But yeah, come to class. We got classes going on all the time. We have reading comp every week if you want to focus on that. And you can also, in the meantime, catch up and watch the recordings of all the previous reading comp classes. There are several, at least a dozen or more at this point. Fantastic. Right, Matt, any other questions for today? No, I think that's it. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to, uh, to talk to you and really dive into all the resources available online and the workshops and and I'm really excited to, um, you know, really strengthen some areas, gain some some knowledge and some approaches, and uh, just keep working. Fantastic. Well, keep at it, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.